सो so, आज का हमारा टॉपिक है बीजीपी बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल आज का हम लोग का टॉपिक जो है हम लोग स्टार्ट करेंगे बीजीपी बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल तो बात करते हैं हम लोग स्टेप बाय स्टेप की बीजीपी क्या है बीजीपी का यूज क्या है कैसे है क्यों है स्टेप बाय स्टेप सारे पॉइंट्स को डिस्कस करते हैं चलो तो बीजेपी का जो फर्स्ट पॉइंट है फर्स्ट पॉइंट को हम लोग देखते हैं बीजेपी स्टैंड फॉर बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल और बीजेपी का फुल फॉर्म आपको पता ही है बॉर्डर गेटवे प्रोटोकॉल है दूसरे पॉइंट की बात करें तो बहुत ही अच्छा पॉइंट है इट इज अजीपी प्रोटोकॉल इट इज अजीपी प्रोटोकॉल ई जी ई प्रोटोकॉल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ईजीपी प्रोटोकॉल बात करें अपन तो ईजीपी प्रोटोकॉल का मतलब क्या है इसके बारे में थोड़ा आप लोग मुझे बताओगे देखो यार हमारे पास दो दो प्रोटोकॉल होते हैं चलो ठीक है बेटा अच्छी बात है गुड तो हमारे पास दो टाइप के प्रोटोकॉल होते हैं एक होता है आईजीपी और एक होता है ईजीपी अभी तक आपने जो भी प्रोटोकॉल डिस्कस किए हैं आपने यार जो भी प्रोटोकॉल सीसीएनए से सीसीएनपी तक पढ़े हैं वो सारे आईजीपी प्रोटोकॉल थे आईजीपी प्रोटोकॉल का जो कॉन्सेप्ट था कि विद इन एन ए एस आप आईजीपी प्रोटोकॉल का यूज करते थे विद इन एन ए एस सपोज दैट हम हाँ विद इन एन ए एस आप यहाँ पे आप यहाँ पे नेबरशिप बिल्ड कर सकते हो विद इन एन ए एस आपके प्रिफिक्स की इंफॉर्मेशन शेयर कर सकते हो अगर मैं बात करता हूँ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक नेबरशिप बिटवीन टू ए एस आर यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर योर प्रिफिक्स इन्फॉर्मेशन बिटवीन टू ए एस देन इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन आई जी पी फॉर दैट यू है स्पेसिफिक प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज ई जी पी सपोज करो कि हमारा एक यहाँ पे ए एस हंड्रेड चल रहा है एक नेटवर्क है यहाँ पे मेरा वहाँ पे ए एस हंड्रेड चल रहा है और एक दूसरा नेटवर्क है यहाँ पे ए एस टू हंड्रेड चल रहा है नाउ If you want to share your prefix information between these two AS, अगर आप इन दोनों AS के बीच में क्या शेयर करना चाहते हो prefix की information, then this is not adaptable through IGP protocol. इसको आप IGP protocol जी पी प्रोटोकॉल के थ्रू नहीं अचीव कर सकते सो दैट यू विल हैव टू यूज ई जी पी एक्सटीरियर गेटे प्रोटोकॉल टू शेयर योर प्रिफिक्स इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम वन ए एस टू एन अदर ए एस यहाँ तक की बात क्लियर हो गई बेटे इट इज अ पाथ वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल इट इज अ पाथ वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल पाथ वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल टिल नाउ यू नो वेरी वेल अबाउट मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल जस्ट लाइक दैट यू हैव हर्ड यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट डिस्टेंस वेक्टर राउटिंग कॉल डिस्टेंस वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल यू हैव हर्ड एडवांस डिस्टेंस वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल यू हैव हर्ड अबाउट लिंक स्टेट राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल बट स्टिल नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू नो अबाउट लिंक स्टेट राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल बट यू डोंट नो अबाउट पाथ वेक्टर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू डिस्कस लिटिल बिट अबाउट दिस प्रोटोकॉल सपोज दैट यू have a router over here and that router is connected through another router over here and i have another router connected here just like this and this router is connected just like this and over here i have this router whose name is r1 and this router is r2 this router is r3 and this router is r4 now i have a network over here that network is uh, suppose that 10.1.1.0/24 and now i have a network over here that is 10.0 10.1.1.0/24 now router t2 will advertise this network information to router r1 and router r4 will advertise this network information to r3 and r3 will advertise this network information to r1 now r1 will find out 10.1.1.0 network by R2 as well as R3. Now R1 want to decide which path is the best path for me to reach this network. Means this network or this network. Then how router will find out which path will be the best path for which path 
will be best for me then how router r1 will decide you know if you are using igp protocol then in igp protocol if you are talking about distance vector routing protocol then in distance vector routing protocol you are using rip rip is using hope count what you, rip is using rip is using hope count so rip will see uh, I, 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 I have to travel one hope uh, if i want to go 10.1.1 through r2 but if i just want to reach uh, 10.1.0 through r3 then i will have to travel to hope so uh, least hope is over here least hope, hope is over here so i'm just going to find out the best part through the r2 is it right good so now good so now if you are just going to see advanced distance vector routing protocol advanced distance vector routing protocol in advanced distance vector routing protocol you are going to use eigrp in eigrp you are just going to calculate your metric by the help of bandwidth delay reliability bandwidth delay reliability load mtu and on the behalf of these content your EIG, EIGRP protocol is going to calculate the metric value and on the behalf of least metric value suppose this router is sending uh, metric value 100 and this router is sending a metric value 200 so the least metric value that router will get in its routing table router will select that path as the best path so now router will see i am getting 100 metric value through r2 that's why r2 is going to be the best path for me is it right good so now in third case i am just going to see ospf if you are doing just going to talk about ospf so in ospf the router r2 will forward this prefix information along with metric value as a cost so now R1 will calculate the cost value from R1 to R2. Suppose this is a serial link, then it will calculate the serial cost will be 64. Now in this scenario, router R4 will send cost value 64 and R3 will forward the cost value 64 plus 64 that will be 128. So now in the case of OSPF routing protocol, router 1 will see I am getting 64 cost from R1 to R2 whereas if I am just going to use R1 to R3 then I am just going to get 128 metric cost value. So my best path will be this R1 to R2 is it right? Good. So, so if we are talking about link IGP protocol in IGP protocol routers uh, routing protocols are just going to use metric value to calculate the best path but but in in BGP router is not going to use or calculate any kind of metric value. In BGP router is just going to use path attribute. What? Path attribute. Path attribute. Actually uh, if I am talking about uh, IGP protocol, in IGP protocol along with prefix value, along with prefix value along with prefix value router is sending what metric value is it right but in bgp protocol it will send prefix value here we are not going to say prefix here we will say nlri what i'll say nlri network layer reachability what network layer reachability here we are yeah we are not going to say prefix over here we are just going to say nlri network layer reachability and now along with network layer reachability means prefix it will forward <coughs> it will forward path attribute path attribute so in bgp router will use path attribute to calculate the best path to reach the destination here it is not going to say i'm just going to use this metric value i'm just going to use what path attribute path attribute are some criteria that bgp will use to calculate the best path to reach the destination is it right man in path attribute we are just going to see multiple 
things just like that uh, we will discuss much more about all the content that uh, in path attribute uh, bgp will carry just like that what will be my next hope what is the weight value here we will just get 12 things to just uh, find out the best path to reach the destination we will get 10 12 content to just uh, compare which path will be the best path for me so here we will see next hope weight as number uh, self advertised route, med, origin code, lots of things are here and we will discuss much more about each and every things and we will discuss how route is going to select the best path to reach the destination. So finally over here we have discussed it is a path vector routing protocol. What is the meaning of path vector routing protocol? Path vector routing protocol means what? Means uh, BGP is a path vector routing, routing protocol because it uses path attribute. It uses path attribute to find out the best part to reach the destination okay clear man any problem please ask me any problem if you suppose you have any problem don't worry about that just ask me at that moment okay okay good 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 fine now it is a layer 7 protocol it is a layer 7 protocol layer 7 protocol and it uses port number 179 at transport layer transport layer one more thing is over here also if you are talking about if you are talking about the rip rip is also layer 7 protocol rip is also a layer 7 protocol but but for routing but for routing it uses udp protocol UDP protocol number 520. You know, RIP is a purely unreliable protocol. RIP is a purely unreliable protocol. Why? Because it uses UDP port number 520 at transport layer. It perform, actually all routing protocol perform routing at network layer. All routing protocol perform routing for network layer. But, at the upper layer, at the upper layer, that is known as your transport layer, at transport layer, your RIP routing protocol uses 520 port number, that is UDP port number. That's why you know very well, RIP, RIP forwards its routing table, forwards routing table every 30 seconds. You know very well, na? table rip will forward at 30 seconds why because you know rip is a purely unreliable protocol rip don't know if i am sending any kind of route information to my neighbor may or may not be it reach so every 30 seconds it will forward its whole routing table to its neighbor because it, it, it this router don't know either my uh, update message received at this router r2 or not so every 30 minute uh, for 30 seconds it will forward its whole routing table that's why this is a purely unreliable routing protocol. Whereas if you are talking about OSPF or EIGRP, if you are talking about EIGRP, which port EIGRP use? 88. OSPF 89. But EIGRP and OSPF both works at network layer directly. They are not going to uh, they are not going to participate in participate in any other kind of layer. Okay, so EIGRP has its own mechanism, reliable, it uses RTP protocol for, uh, for uh, uh, you can say reliability, OSPF has its own mechanism for reliability, that's why they are not going to share its routing table periodically, they are just going to send its routing table whenever a change occur inside the network at that moment EIGRP or OSPF just going to send any kind of route information as well as they are just going to say partial update, partial update means uh, in uh, if you, you are talking about uh, rip 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 is going to forward its whole routing table either any problem occur inside the network or not but if you are talking about eigrp and ospf in eigrp and ospf they have uh, they are not going to say whole routing table and they are not going to send you know uh, every uh, certain amount of means periodically they are just going to send uh, routing update only when a, when a change occur inside the network but uh, you know uh, in uh, in BGP, in BGP, 
बीजेपी इज अ प्योरली रिलायबल प्रोटोकॉल नॉट अ सिंगल आउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल ऑन द प्लेनेट इज जस्ट गोइंग टू से प्योरली रिलायबल प्रोटोकॉल इन ओ एस पी एफ इन ई आई जी आर पी देर आर सम मैसेजेस दे आर अनरिलायबल जस्ट लाइक हेलो मैसेज हेलो मैसेज आर आर अनरिलायबल दैट्स वाई योर राउटिंग प्रोटोकॉल्स आर जस्ट गोइंग टू सेंड देयर हेलो मैसेज आफ्टर आ सर्टेन अमाउंट अ सर्टेन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम जस्ट लाइक दैट यू नो इन ई आर जी आर पी आर यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू यूज फाइव सेकेंड एंड इन ओ एस पी एफ यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू यूज टेन सेकेंड एवरी फाइव सेकेंड आर टेन सेकेंड योर राउटर्स विल सेंड हेलो मैसेजेज इज इट राइट या वाई बिकॉज योर messages are un means your hello messages are not you know reliable messages so your router will have to send hello messages every certain amount of time actually you know hello messages have to work hello messages are the the messages that you are uh, please tell me what is the concept of hello messages why you are using hello messages in uh, osp or igrp just please tell me yeah exactly actually the first actually actually man you know the first task of hello message is what the first task of hello message is to establish neighborship what to establish neighborship and the second task is for keep alive means i just want to check that my link is up or down though. so uh, it will use what hello message so hello message uh, your eigrp and ospf uses for for two tasks uh, achieved the, the first task that it will achieve to uh, establish neighborship and the second task will uh, to just uh, look out uh, your link behavior uh, means uh, your link is working properly or not so it will use for keep alleving okay <clears throat> so now uh, your tc your bgp protocol is purely reliable protocol why because uh, because uh, at network layer is it is just going to say i am just going to use tcp protocol what it uses tcp protocol actually man uh, if you are talking about bgp then be all bgp messages are purely reliable all bgp messages are purely reliable means every message need what acknowledgement what every message needs a, needs what acknowledge why because it is a purely purely reliable protocol not a single protocol on the planet that is just going to say i, I am a purely reliable protocol uh, only one protocol that is bgp is a purely pure reliable protocol okay so now <clears throat> it is a purely reliable protocol and uh, it uses uh, tcp port number 179 while making neighborship while transferring its uh, messages just like uh, in your ospf in in eigrp you have seen uh, in ospf uh, hello message dbd message lsr lsu lsn just like in uh, bgp we are just going to see many messages but yeah uh, in uh, bgp all messages will be acknowledged will be acknowledged and the most important thing over here is what i just like to discuss just see man uh suppose that you have a router over here you have a router over here and you have a router over here and now you have connected both our routers just like this now <clears throat> first of all first of all here tcp session will be maintained what tcp session will be maintained why we need tcp session please tell me little bit why we need tcp session what is the exact purpose to just maintain tcp session do you have idea sunny and okay 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 man okay good uh, man you will have to you will have to say uh, to check bidirectional connection what to check alvinvar someone is asking you what do you mean by tcp session at the moment we are just going to say to check what you will check bidirectional connectivity by directional connectivity okay bidirectional connect connectivity to check bidirectional connectivity 
This is the purpose of TCP session. This is the purpose of TCP session to check the bidirectional connectivity. How how they does this? Uh, first of all, they will send a SYN message. What they will send? When router will get this SYN message, at the moment router will forward what? SYN plus A. What router will send? SYN plus A. SYN plus A. Now, the, this router will then again send what? A message. What router will send? A message. Okay. So the router that is initializing its session that uh, uh, suppose this is R1 and R1 uh, and R2, R1 and R2. R1 want to just uh, uh, initiate the TCP session. Then first of all, R1 will send a SYN message. This means I just want to make a uh, you know session with you. Are you ready? Uh, then R1 will send a SYN message to R2. R2 will receive this SYN message. Uh, but now R1 will say uh, how I will get to know either you have reached my uh, SYN message or not. Then in that case, router will router to this is the responsibility of router to to acknowledge this SYN message. That's why router two will send and uh, send will act message. And now router two will also need to make the, uh, the to make the session. That's why router will uh, router two will also send what a SYN message means here you are getting SYN plus act. Why you are getting SYN plus act? Because of that router two will get acknowledge router will uh, two will send acknowledgement message. Yeah, the SYN message that you have sent to me. I have got that and also just want to make connection to you that's why I was going to send you SYN message. Now router 1 will get the SYN plus act that's why router 1 will get to know yeah um, router 2 has got the uh, SYN message that's why it sent me acknowledgement message and router 2 just want to make a com want to make connect connection with me that's why uh, it sent me SYN message and I have reached is its uh, SYN message that's why it will send what act message. Okay, so this is why routers are using, why TCP is using this concept because both are just going to check bi-directional connectivity, bi-directional connectivity. Then after making this session, now your BGP messages will be sent. Before this session, your not a single BGP message will send from here to there. First of all, they will check their bidirectional connectivity. After checking their bidirectional connectivity, they will just start to send BGP messages because BGP messages are purely reliable. BGP messages are purely reliable. Without an acknowledgement, they are not going to send any kind of BGP message. Maybe in interview, they can ask what is the reason why BGP is purely reliable. Then what you will say? Because uh, because uh, be before sending any BGP, any BGP message, both routers will make a TCP session. What they will make? They will make a TCP session. After making the TCP session, router 1 will send or router 2 will send what? BGP messages. Okay. Sunny, yes, any problem, Betty? No. Saurabh? Good, good, good. So now we have discussed uh, it is a layer 7 protocol and uh, to perform routing for layer 3 at transport layer, it uses TCP protocol. Okay, port number 179. <coughs> And uh, the most important part that we are going to discuss over here, the most important part that we are going to discuss over here, <clears throat> by default, the maximum path, by default, by default, maximum path that BGP can store, BGP can store, store in its routing table, in its routing table will be 1. Means maximum 1 path, maximum 1 path BGP can store in its routing table. Means you can say by default BGP don't use, don't use what?
if you are talking about ospf how many paths osp uh, routing proto ospf routing protocol can store in its routing table by default four is it right if you are going to see any igrp so maybe eigrp can also store four maximum how many paths 16 yeah so uh, by default ospf and eigrp can store in its routing table how many path four means here you can achieve load balancing by default you can achieve your load load balancing but in bgp it is not possible by default by default in bgp routers can store only one route one path in its routing table if you want to achieve then you can achieve yeah it is right you can achieve but by default it doesn't support okay try to remember this by default you can store only one path in its routing table clear it is right okay and the next good good it is a classless routing protocol as you know eigrp is also a classless routing protocol ospf is also a classless routing protocol rip version 2 is also classless routing protocol but uh, rip version 1 was class full routing protocol so bgp just like uh, eigrp and ospf bgp is also a classless routing protocol and what is the meaning of classless routing protocol along with its prefix information it sends cidr value okay good and uh, the one more point we just are going to discuss summarization by default summarization is disabled over here by default summarization is disabled over here but if you want it if you want to summarize your network then yeah manually you can summarize manually you can summarize okay any problem man over here good so good good fine now the main important point that i'm just going to discuss over here in bgp we have two type of neighborship in bgp yeah yeah one more point also here it does not support it does not support it does not support dynamic neighborship what dynamic neighborship yeah suppose uh, you have a router over here you have a router over here and you have connected just like that and uh, you have used some ip just like 12.1.1.1 over here you have used ip 1.1.2 yeah so here uh, you are going to do you are going to say router ospf 1 network 0.0.0.0 wildcard mask 255 255 255 255 area 0 and uh, uh, as this command you are going to apply at this router then after applying this command this router will generate a hello message and it will forward this hello message at the ip 224.0.5 is it right so uh, this router also will generate its hello message and it will forward this hello message at the multicast address 224.0.0.5 so here what you are getting here you are getting dynamic neighbor see here you are you are not going to make any kind of static neighbor see but in bgp it is not possible in bgp it is not possible here you will have to manually we you will have to manually maintain neighbor see yeah established neighbor yeah established neighbor see okay man okay so the last point yeah good the last point that i was going to discuss is what the last point is over here we have two type of neighbor sip in this one is ibgp neighbor sip and second is ebgp neighbor sip what ibgp neighbor sip and ebgp neighbor sip ebgp neighbor sip 
how many types of membership in uh, bgp there are two type of membership gp membership and ebgp membership what is the meaning of this just see suppose that i have a network over here i have a router over here i have a router over here and i have a second router over here i have two router and both router are placed in as 100 both router are placed in as 100 Yes, one hundred. I have, I have one scenario over here, and I have another scenario. I have a company R two A S, and uh, I have one router here. I have another router over here, and uh, I have uh, connected just like this. And uh, here, my A S number is one hundred. My A S number is one hundred. And uh, over here, my AS number is two hundred. AS number is what? Two hundred. Okay. So now the membership that you are performing here, membership that you are performing over here is within in same AS. The membership that you are performing here within same AS means router R one is working in AS one hundred and uh, router two is also working in uh, air uh, in AS two. Sorry, AS one hundred. So both the router they are making membership with each other are belong in same AS. Okay, so that's why such a membership known is known as IBGP membership. What IBGP membership? But if if you are performing membership between two AS, my this router is working in AS one hundred. This router is yeah exactly. My this router is working in AS two hundred. Means if you are Forming neighborship between two different AS, then such a neighborship is known as EBGP neighborship. Okay. And suppose that here I am, I have, I have advertised a network ten dot one dot one dot zero slash twenty four. If this router will advertise this route information to this router R one, then uh, along with its its prefix information, it will send AD value. Is it right, man? When you are talking about uh, OSPF or, or EIGRP, suppose that here OSPF membership has been configured. So now uh, you are configuring any network ten dot one dot one dot zero. When router two, this is router one. Router two will advertise this network information. Then what it will carry through uh, network information? It will carry AD value also, na? Ten dot one dot one dot zero. Uh, yes. Then you will get. Uh, suppose that you are using OSPF, then AD value will be one hundred ten. If we are using uh, EIGRP, AD value will be nineteen. Is it right? Yes. So just like that, if you are talking about uh, EB, uh, you are talking about BGP. So in BGP, there are two. There are two type of membership. One is your IBGP membership, IBGP membership, and second is EBGP membership. If you have performed IBGP membership, then the AD value will be two hundred. So along with its prefix information. Ten dot one dot one dot zero. It will it will send AD value with what two hundred. Okay. And if you are talking about EBGP, if this prefix information just like that ten dot one dot one dot zero, uh, when this router will just uh, send its network information to this router at the moment, it will forward uh, AD value ten dot one dot one dot zero. And the AD value will be twenty. What will be twenty? Okay. So in IBG in IBGP, your AD value will be what two hundred, and in EBGP, your AD value will be what twenty. Okay, man. Yeah. So so you you will have to just remember this, okay? Because in interview they will ask this question, okay? So maybe they they. they You, what do you what do you mean by IBGP uh, neighborship? What do you mean by EBGP neighborship? Then you will have to tell uh, if uh, if routers are in same AS, uh, then such a neighborship known as uh, IBGP neighborship. If routers are performing neighborship between two AS, then such a neighborship is known as EBGP neighborship. In IBGP neighborship, AD value will be two hundred, and in EBGP neighborship, AD value AD value will be twenty. Okay. Any problem, friend, over here? 
If you have any problem, please ask me. Yeah. Good, good, fine. So now we have discussed many points regarding BGP. Uh, BGP stands for border gated protocol. It is actually exterior gated protocol. Uh, this is a part sector routing protocol. It work at layer seven and uh, at transport layer it uses port number one seventy nine. Uh, TCP port number 179. It is purely reliable protocol. Uh, maximum path it can store in its, in its routing table one. Uh, here we can, uh, it does not support auto summarization. Uh, yeah, we can just uh, manually summarize our network. Uh, it does not support dynamic neighborship. Yeah, AD, uh, we had to type up neighborship over here, EBGP and IBGP. Uh, if we are performing neighborship between same uh, means uh, within same AS, then such a neighborship is known as IBGP neighborship and the AD value will be uh, 200. If we are performing neighborship between two AS, then such a neighborship is known as EBGP neighborship and uh, the AD value will be 20. So till this point, you have any problem, then please ask me. Yeah, 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 so. Man, man, please, man, please wait, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to explain this point now, okay. Before I was just talking about the basic terms that we must know about BGP and the next point that I'm just going to discuss why we need to use BGP, okay. This is my point, this is my big point and I'll explain each and everything for, for BGP, okay. So the next point that I'm just going to discuss why we need to use BGP, okay. So, here I'm just going to say why we need to use BGP. What are the scenario in that we need to use BGP? Okay, so let me explain what is the reason why we need to use BGP. So, man, the first point that I would like to tell you, if you are talking about IGP protocol, then IGP protocol has a limited, has a limit, IGP protocol has a limit, what kind of limit? Routing table, routing table, prefix, store. Prefix store means what? Means here, IGP protocol can store not more than 100 information in its routing table. What I said? IGP protocol were designed to store not more than 1000 prefix information in its routing table. If more than that you are going to store in its routing table, then may be possible your routing table crash. Are you getting my point? So, if you are talking about, you are talking about ISP, if you are talking about ISP, if you are talking about enterprise network, so here what we are getting? If you are talking about ISP, so man, do you know how many prefix are on ISP? If more more than more more than lakhs is it right maybe you will get millions of prefix on a net is it right lots of website you know and every website has its own prefix is it, is it right man so if you yeah suppose you are talking uh, you you are using a router in isp domain if you are using any kind of uh, router in isp domain then what do you think? How many route information will be stored in a routing table? More than lakhs, more, more than millions. So what do you think? If you are using IGP protocol, if you are using IG, IGP protocol, then what do you think? IGP protocol can store uh, lakhs information in its routing table? No, not possible. Why? Yeah, because IGP protocol, yeah, exactly. Because IGP protocol were, were designed to maintain not more than thousands of prefix information in its routing table. 
so when you are talking about isp are you are talking about enterprise network what is the meaning of enterprise network just like you know ibm are suppose not we are talking about ibm suppose like you have a bank sbi okay there are many sbi branches in india is it right every branch offices are connected through what head office so so how many branch offices sbi are in india thousand more than thousand is it right? so if you are using igp protocol then what do you think igp protocol can handle all prefix information if you are talking about ibm ibm is a ibm is a mnc ibm is a mnc okay enterprise network and if you are talking about ibm then ibm have uh, ibm have uh, you know uh, branch offices in india outside the india in many countries ibm have I branch offices then what do you think uh, if you are if you are connecting or uh, using uh, igp protocol then they can handle their prefix information and routing table low good so now if you are talking about yeah if you are talking about igp protocol then igp protocol were designed to handle not more than thousands of prefix information so that if you are just going to use uh, more than lakhs of information it's your in its your routing table means in some cases suppose you are using you are using your router in uh, enterprise into a if you are just going to use your router in isp are you want to you suppose that uh, i have an isp one you know every isp is connected th through each other i have isp one over here i have isp two over here and i have some router over here just like this i have one router over here i have second router over here i have some router over here i just want to make uh, connectivity between isp so is it possible to use igp protocol good why because man you know this is as number 100 this is number yeah exactly and the second opinion is what man the second opinion is over here you are using as number 100 and you are you was using as 200 then how is it possible to make a uh, neighbor ship and how is it possible to share your prefix information between two as is it right sure so now if you are talking why we need to use bgp so you know if you are talking about your enterprise network if you want to make communication between two isp uh, if you want to store more than more than thousands of prefix information in, in your routing table so in these cases your igp is not applicable is it right man good and the last point that i'm going to discuss why we need to use bgp the last point is be on the behalf of customer type what on the behalf of customer type on the behalf of customer type what is the meaning of on the behalf of customer type man you know i have multiple type of customer in corporate i have multiple type of customer in corporate uh, just uh, i have four type of customer uh, first is single home customer single homed customer single home customer <coughs> dual home customer dual home customer single home customer dual home customer <coughs> single multi home customer single multi home customer dual multi home customer dual multi home customer i have four type of customer type in bgp uh, single home customer dual home customer single multi home customer dual multi home customer what is the meaning of this i am just going to explain now just see man 
I have a I have a SP and I have taken internet connection at my router. Okay. And now I have a switch over here that switch is connected through router and this router is connected and this router is connected through ISP. Okay. So now this is the network and this network is known as single home customer means when we have taken isp connection single uh, one link one as uh, one isp link i have taken then such a network is known as single home customer and if you are talking about single home customer so here this is your router r1 okay this is the switch and this switch is connected uh, some clients are connected to the switch and these clients just want to make uh, connect connectivity um, from work to ISP okay means here is ISP and this client just want to access ISP services now do you do you think uh, here we need any kind of routing protocol routing protocol do you think uh, here we will use any kind of routing protocol no why because here we have one connection I will use what default route what I'll use I'll use default route and what I'll do, I will do netting. I will use netpad, netpad not, I will use pad. I will use pad and with the help of pad, I will configure pad over here and uh, you know uh, with the help of pad, my private IP will be converted into public IP and my clients will be able to access the ISP. Okay. So if you have single home customer, customer so in that case there is no need to just uh, run any kind of uh, protocol because here we have a link single link and uh, we can use uh, default route very easily and it will work very frequently here okay very frequently it will work over here we don't need any kind of routing protocol okay so now the second uh, second scenario i'm just going to explain you uh, single Dual home customer. Dual home customer means what? Suppose that I have a ISP and uh, my company needs backup link. What my company needs? My company needs backup link. So now, suppose uh, I have taken two links from this ISP. I have taken one link over here just like this. And I have taken another, one another link over here just like this. Why, why, why I need such a network? Because of redundancy. Why we need? Redundancy, okay. Redundancy. What is the meaning of redundancy over here? Suppose that my this link goes down. In that case, my users now will be able to access the ISP. So now I have taken a dual link, okay. So now suppose I have a switch over here. I have a switch over here, and this switch is connected through router, okay. And now some clients are connected over here. Some clients are just like this, just like this, just like this. My all the clients are connected over here, just like in this manner. So all these clients are connected. Okay. So now, man, please tell me what do you think? We will just uh, run default route over here. Will it work full for us? Subham and Sunny, please tell me what do you think? Default route will work properly over here. And can we use both link if we, were, we are using default route? Good. Man, please, uh, please listen me very, very carefully. If we are configuring default route at this router, then at the time, at a time, router can use only one path. Router can use only one path actually man first of all router will maintain a router will maintain a routing table routing table and in, in its routing table we have performed a default route then what we will say 0, 0, 0.0.0.0 0 .0 and this default route goes through the suppose that uh, this is the interface s0 slash 0 this interface is s0 slash 1 so now you have a you have assigned a default route here 
and this default route associated with the interface s0/0 and you have configured a second default route 0.0.0.0 forward/0 and you have a specified s0/1 so now on the behalf of this routing table a router will maintain another table that is known as fib forwarding information base fib and in its fib table router will just use only one link and the link that is oldest link the router will prefer that link so now what is the meaning of oldest link try to listen me suppose that i have configured this command first and i have configured this command second then the first command that you have assigned here 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 and you have associated your interface as 0 slash 0. So now according to the router this interface or this route is oldest path because you have configured this path first and the second command they, you have configured 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 and you have associated your interface as 0 slash 1. So now Router will see, okay, I have two default, default path. Now I will choose only one path at a moment. At a time, I will use only one path, and the path that is oldest oldest path, I will I will prefer this path. I will prefer that path that is oldest path. So now in its FIP table, router will just enter this information. So router will keep this information first. 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 interface associated interface is as 0 slash 0. So now the second second link is this. So now router will keep this information in its fifth table, but router will not use until all unless this interface means the oldest path goes down. In the case oldest path goes down means your this link goes down. Then uh, suppose this link goes down, then what will happen? Router will just uh, erase this information in its routing table. Is it right, man? So at the moment, router will get router will get this path. So at the moment, router will use this path. Otherwise, router will use this path only. Okay. So again, if this link gets up, so router will use this path until this link not uh, until uh, this link goes down when this link goes down then router will use this path otherwise router always will keep this path used so now according to default route if you have taken to a sp connectivity and you have configured default routing so at a moment you can use only one path so what do you think is it worth for your company good so now you exactly what you need you need both path availability both path availability you need both path so in that case you will have to use what bgp okay if you will use bgp then with the help of bgp you can use both path for some clients, suppose that my these clients are here, these clients are here, I can just separate these clients and I will assign uh, my these clients should go by this link, my these clients should go this link, if this link go down then this link, uh, clients will shifted at this link. So now we can use both link with the help of what BGP. Have you got it? Good. So in this case means if you are talking about uh, a dual homed customer, so in that case you can use BGP to manipulate your path. Uh, you can use both link if you are not using BGP, then it is not possible to use your both path. In that case your router will use only single path that is oldest path in its routing table. Okay. Any problem, Any problem still now? good so now the third point we are just going to discuss single multi home customer what is the meaning of single multi home customer i have two isp i have one router 
and now i have taken as link from here i have taken one link from here and now i have a switch over here that is connected through the router and this switch is connected just like some clients so now if you are using default route if you are using default route at this router if you are using default route then what do you think both link will be utilized no why because as this we have discussed if we have configured two default route then only one default route router will use at a point okay so now if you want to utilize your both link then what do you need bgp okay man so now we have clear if you have taken dual home customer type if you have used dual home customer type then if you want to use your both path in that case you will have to use bgp otherwise your router will use only single path in the case of default route so now if you are using single multi home customer so in single home multi customer means what i have taken <coughs> two link i have taken two link and uh, here just like this i am just going to erase this yeah so now i have taken two router here just like this and uh, my both routers are having two net connect internet connectivity just like this and now i have connected this router through this switch okay so now in this scenario you are getting <coughs> router 1 router 2 router 1 having two link to reach isp1 and isp2 router 2 having two link to reach isp1 and isp2 so in this case if you want to achieve your load balancing or if you want to achieve your all links utilization so what you need you need what bgp if you will use default route then you know very well your router will use only a single path and this router will use a single path so now if you want to use your all links utilization so you will have to manipulate bgp and over here you have to default gateway how many default gateway do you have you have to default gateway and you know you have in ccna you have learned about hsrp vrr ha you have heard hsrp and uh, here you are just going to use hsrp and you are going to bundled this physical link into virtual link and you are just going to get a single ip to use this okay so in hsrp we will discuss about this but uh, maybe you have heard in ccna okay so man these are the scenarios just like that a uh, single uh, single home customer you are not going to use this but yeah dual home customer single multi home customer dual multi home customer you will have to use bgp is it right so uh, now for your better understanding i have discussed too much why we need to use bgp have you cleared so do you have any question please ask me
सौरभ एंड सनी क्वेश्चन एनी सिली क्वेश्चन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू से यू आर जस्ट गोइंग टू आस्क मी वेरी डिफिकल्ट आर समथिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इफ यू एनी सिली क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी नाउ फ्रॉम स्टार्ट स्टार्टिंग टॉपिक टू दिस बिटवीन दिस इफ यू हैव एनी सिली क्वेश्चन आर यू हैव एनी बिग क्वेश्चन Are any? You can say any question. You can ask me. Otherwise, uh, we are just going to close this class from today. And next time we will discuss something. Good, fantastic. And uh, sort of you. okay so uh, i i think uh, you have better understanding now what is the meaning of bgp uh, why we need to use bgp and the terms that we have discussed everything has been cleared good fine uh, good fine so now suppose now someone is asking you why what is the meaning of what is bgp why we need to use bgp so you can explain little bit is it right yes sir Good good nice nice my friends nice okay